Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contract service is month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on start a podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Startup Garage Podcast, your source for all things startup. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Brad Fossbender on the line. He's founder and head of business operations over at Guadalupe Roastery. Brad, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. Oh, man, so excited to get into your business today. I want to learn more about Guadalupe Roastery and your plans for um, for expansion. But before we do that, um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about how you got into the coffee business? Well, it was quite the journey. So um, I, I would say it's almost more of a calling than um, a job for me because I love it so much. But how I got started is I'll just give a little bit of a backstory. Is um, You know, right out of college, I, I got in um, – the financial services industry. And, uh, um, I had some success there, but I I just didn't like find my space there. I felt, you know, like this emptiness, you know, inside of me and, and, and the work I didn't have, um, I, I wasn't able to find my higher why in that space. So I actually just, um, gave it all up and I, I joined, uh, uh, a mission in, in Honduras where, um, it was more of a evangelical Catholic mission, and uh, I got to encounter uh, just like the poor of Honduras and in, in the mountains and in, in the cities, and and uh, uh, I just began to ask my why why there's such a discrepancy between uh, the lives of you know folks that living you know the Wall Street life and you know the poor of this world. So um, I got just brainstorming you know sessions in in. Uh, in prayer, just in conversations with, uh, you know, the poor there. And, uh, I came up with this idea, like, why not, uh, use a commodity that they have a ton of there, which is coffee and simplify the supply chain and get more money into the hands of the actual workers there. So I basically conceived this idea, uh, in 2008, um, and just kind of incubated it for a while and, and, uh, didn't really gain momentum with it and, you know, in the financing until 2016. So, uh, in 2016, um, I actually started, uh, uh, a coffee roastery to fund other people to go on mission, uh, and, you know, encounter the poor like I did. And, uh, coffee was a fundraising tool to do that. And, uh, it just started growing from there. Wow, what an amazing story! I love this. And uh, so, tell us a little bit more about about the product and your um and and, and your thought process behind it. Because I, I find when somebody comes up with different like different coffee products, there's always something interesting, especially when it's a passion. So, tell us a little bit more about the product. Yeah, so so the, the product is um our our niche is specially grade coffee. So uh, we. We that just sounds a, tasty. Just throwing that out there. I'm like Brad when you're like, oh, I'm like, oh, especially great. I want some. Let's <laughs> tell us more. You just got me. You got me like wanting a cup. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you you have like uh, basically like three different grades of coffee. You have like um, well, commodities. Basically, the coffee that, that you know most of us drink. It's it's when you check out like the prices on Wall Street. That's that's what it's priced at. Um, and then you have a uh, below grade commodity, which is typically the coffee that never leaves the country of origin. And that's what the, the, the local people typically drink. And then you have a specialty grade bean, which um, it goes to the more fine, you know, tasting markets in, in the world. So um, there's different taste profiles. Uh, so that's the 
pace profile that we're buying, we're roasting and distributing. Um, so uh, it's it's really good coffee. Um, and our business model is we buy uh, direct from farmers. So we're not um, direct in all the countries that we we supply, um, but we are direct uh, specifically in Nicaragua. And uh, that's that's the model we're incubating to scale out to um, go to direct to other farms throughout, you know, the coffee producing regions of the world. So, um, and, and, and the reason why, you know, the specialty grade coffee market is so important is because these, these farms are typically small and they're managed by the families themselves. So, um, it's not big plantations where you're just trading with a, a plantation owner who's, you know, determining, you know, what they're going to pay their workers. Uh, these people have an equity stake in the land, so they, they really care for the quality of their bean. Um, and they get the, the point that the higher the quality of the bean, you know, the higher the price is going to be. So um, that's what we're sourcing and uh, distributing here in the United States. That's awesome. And so this is a, a startup podcast, and I know that you have an interesting story on kind of how you found funding. So tell us a little bit more about that and how and how that worked out. Yeah, so I got this started in um, southwestern Florida, um, which is best known for uh, Naples, Fort Myers. But um, we we were started in um, Ave Maria. There's a university town there, and then there's um, – Basically, it's like the breadbasket of the United States east of the the Mississippi. Uh, it's called a town of Imakli. So um, uh, that's where our roastery uh, headquartered, and um, there they have a. It's a, there's an economic incubator that they're just basically exist to to help startups. So wow. I got involved involved with that and. Um, I wasn't ready for the amount of solicitation, you know, I was going to get by um, investment bankers, um, but I struck a lot of interest in, you know, people who are looking to do good things with their money. So I sorted through, you know, different offers, but um, I ended up uh, aligning with somebody who they, they really bought the mission mm. of the business. Uh, they didn't really buy the coffee. They just start, they thought like, well, wow, you know, there's a lot of do-gooders that have a lot of money that want to put in something that, you know, uh, does good for other people. So I, I, I got, um, involved with, uh, a, a venture capital group who, who they're putting forward a, a ton of resources just mm. to, to help grow and scale the business. So it's pretty exciting, yeah. you know, but I, I would say the biggest thing is, you know, I was in an area where, uh, people were, looking at economic incubator like environment and and um that was important but the most important thing was is when i struck a deal with this group is they they cared deeply about the mission and and that's what i i cared the most about too so it the mission's carrying on and uh, i'm excited to be talking to you because your mission matter books are are um i felt like we would align a lot on on that topic right there Man, that's awesome, and uh, and yeah, I, I I'm a big fan of what you're doing and the thought process behind. It. I feel like these heart based, uh, you know, ventures can be profitable also, and it's a, it's such a win win proposition because you're focusing on the whole supply chain all the way down to who's growing the bean. And I mean, so when you look at a long term product and how you want to um, support and spend where you want to spend your money, I love it. I love that people are voting with dollars and making it possible. For um, for businesses like this to succeed and to grow, so I think it's amazing. Uh, so, Brad, that being said, if somebody is listening to this and they want more information on Guadalupe Roastery, or they want to get involved, or they want to purchase some product and, t- and taste this this uh, this coffee, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? So, uh, we're distributed through e-commerce. So, if you go to Guadalupe Roastery dot com and uh, Guadalupe is G U A D A L U P E and then roastery R O A S T E R Y dot com and you can purchase it there. 
Fantastic. Well, Brad, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great stuff you're doing over at Guadalupe Roastery. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review in the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Startup Garage, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Brad, thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks, Adam, for having me.